What do you know about lupus? If the answer is not much, now is a good time to learn. It is Lupus Awareness Month. And here to tell us more about the chronic autoimmune disease is Theron Leopold, the executive director of Lupus Link Minnesota. Hello. Hi there. And we have Amanda Demules, who is also here. And Amanda, you were diagnosed with lupus five years ago. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what the journey has been like since then. Sure. So I was diagnosed five years ago, and lupus is an autoimmune disease, and it's really where your immune system malfunctions. So mm -hmm. instead of attacking viruses and bacteria, it attacks healthy cells and tissues. And had you known a lot about it when you got no, the diagnosis? No, I did not. I had the joint pain and joint inflammation. Mm -hmm. I'd have unexplained fevers. Um, I'd have pain when breathing. That was one of the scarier symptoms, mm -hmm. and that was around inflammation around my lungs. And you do a treatment for it every week? I do. So I actually do a chemotherapy injection every Saturday night, and that's to keep my lupus symptoms in check. Um, but it has some not so great side effects. So Sunday night and Saturday night and Sunday are kind of wiped out for me. But I do that so I can manage the symptoms and keep my my job Monday through Friday. Thank you for sharing yeah. your story. And Theron, I know you guys have a big event coming yes, up. Yes, we do. Uh, what can people do this weekend and how can they support your organization? Yeah, absolutely. We have a 5K and a one mile walk coming up on Saturday at French Regional Park in Plymouth and Amanda will be there. And so they can come and support us. Registration still is online. Uh, if they go to our website until midnight tonight. Otherwise, people can come day of on Saturday and um, register day of as well for the 5K or the one mile. Being a representative for this organization, do you find that a lot of people aren't familiar with this autoimmune disease? Yeah, you know, I think so. Um, there are some celebrities that have brought lupus more to the light, such as Selena Gomez. Mm -hmm. um, so people are becoming more aware about lupus and what it is, but it still is kind of an autoimmune disease that is not always commonly recognized as well. What are the symptoms if people are wondering? Yeah, so joint pain is one. Um, you might have a low-grade fever. Hair loss can be another example. Um, skin rashes. And uh, what age typically will lupus yeah, affect people? Yeah, lupus typically happens between 15 to 45 years of age and primarily affects women. So about one in 200 individuals is diagnosed with lupus. And of those, 90% are women between the ages of 15 to 45. Although men can get lupus as well. Amanda, you have, it looks like we're going to have a beautiful weekend, but what is your hope for the event this weekend? Uh, definitely just to, you know, raise that awareness and then raise some money, because um, Lupus Link does support a ton of research with hopefully better me medications with less side effects and eventually a cure. And you, maybe you can enjoy your weekend exactly. a little bit yeah. Yeah. more. <laughs> definitely. Well, if you would like to support the cause, the Lupus Link Minnesota 5K Walk Run is this Saturday at 9 a.m. It's at French Park in Plymouth. We have all the information that you need on how to register at WCCO dot com slash links. Theron and Amanda, thank you so much. Thanks thank for you. having us. Yeah.